Good evening. I'm Casey Kuhn. More than 20 members of a college bowling team were injured when a charter bus crashed in southern Indiana this morning. The bus was carrying members of the Indiana Tech's men and women's bowling teams and their coaches. Officials say there were no fatalities, but one person is in serious condition. Bloomington City Council members are closer to nailing down new restrictions on food vendors after a meeting last night. The majority of the council seemed in favor of creating a space to put mobile food vendors rather than allowing them on the streets. Some restaurant owners say that would level the playing field between brick and mortar restaurants and street vendors. Our biggest issue is this ordinance continues to be your food trucks and free pets just because people think they're cool. The meeting was for discussion and the council took a straw poll to pass on the ordinance. Today marks the end of the testing window for Part 1 of the ISTEP standardized test. And the State Board of Education met today to look at what next year's test will cost. The contract with the current test vendor, CTB McGraw-Hill, expires at the end of this school year. And new contracts have been estimated to cost $38 million. And Republican Party Chairman Tim Berry is stepping down from his position after a year and a half. No specific reason was given for the resignation, but Barry said in a statement that the decision wasn't easy, but that the future of the GOP in Indiana is bright. And now for a look at the weather. Tonight, mostly cloudy with lows in the 40s. And here's our five-day forecast with a high chance of rain tomorrow, but mostly clear when it gets later on in the week. And don't forget to check us out at WTIUnews.org.